Welcome back everyone. Now that we understand how routing works, it is time to dive into the second feature that Next.js offers, which is pre-rendering. In this video, I want to list down the topics that we will be covering related to the pre-rendering feature. First, we are going to understand what exactly is pre-rendering and why would you want that in a production application. Next, we will understand the first type of pre-rendering supported, which is static generation. When dealing with pre-rendering, you may have to fetch external data. So we will look at static generation without any data and static generation with data. We will then take a look at a special case of static generation, which is incremental static generation. After that, we will understand how to work with dynamic parameters when fetching data. All of this will give you a very good idea about static generation. We will then move on to the second type of pre-rendering, which is server-side rendering. We will understand what it is, how does it differ to static generation, and when to use one over the other. We will of course look at data fetching when working with server-side rendering as well. We will wind up this important section with client-side data fetching and learning how to combine pre-rendering with client-side data fetching. Let me tell you, there is a lot to understand about pre-rendering, but it is what makes Next.js so powerful. All right, with this introduction, let's understand what exactly is pre-rendering in the next video.